Hi friends, in this session I am going to show MongoDB array update operations. Uh, we have uh, these array update operations are there in MongoDB. So now I am going to show the first one, uh, array dot dollar. As we have seen in projection, uh, dollar will always uh, print the first matching query condition. So if I see here, this is my array object in the JSON format if I see. I have a degree of array objects. Degree contains different uh, mast, um, educations the employee has got. Masters, Bachelor, Intermediate and 10th Standard. Now I am going to write a condition. Here the CGPA is 8, 9 and 4. CGPA is greater than 8. So if you are using uh, array.dollar, in the query for sure I have to use that array object, uh, then only it works, otherwise it will not. So degree dot degrees, just I am checking exist, colon, dollar exists, exists to true, if the degrees object exists. and uh, CGPA is greater than 8 degrees dot CGPA colon dollar dot greater than 8 or greater than or equal to 8 the object exists and it's uh, CGPA is greater than or equal to 8 then do the update operation so I am passing dollar set inside set I am doing I am going to set one more uh, award like uh, here if you see this is having uh, marks branch completion year and CGPA so I am going to give uh, grade as grade as A1 so whoever is uh, having CGPA greater than uh, uh, 8 we are going to give grade so that is array dot that array is degrees degrees dot dollar dot grade so we are going to add grade object which is a1 so when i run this it says one record is updated see we have added grade a1 this is updated only in the first record even though uh, this record is having cgpa greater than nine, 8 it is not updated uh, we all we already know that uh, array dot dollar always updates the first matching record so if you want to update entire array then I can use dollar array which is the second one dollar array I can use entire array will be updated if only one condition is met in that array entire array will be updated if I just use this grade a1 see when I run this so CGPA 8 is got grade a1 7 also got grade a1 and 9 and 4 so dollar array updates for the entire array if one, the condition is met entire array will be updated if you want to update only based on the condition is uh, uh, which are satisfying the query condition then we have to use dollar identifier so dollar identifier works with uh, array uh, element array filters we will instead of query we will be using array filter not be using query first I'll unset that unset see now the record and the record is unset the grade is removed now I'll go and use array dot identifier 
తీసుకోవాలి విల్ బి ఎంటీ యువర్ ఆల్యూస్ ఎలిమెన్ సెట్ గ్రేడ్ ఏ వన్ ఓన్లీ వర్ మ్యాచింగ్ ద క్రైటీరియా సో ఐ హ్యావ్ టు యూస్ హియర్ వన్ మోర్ ఐడెంటిఫైయర్ అరే ఫిల్టర్స్ డాలర్ అరే ఫిల్ సారీ ఇట్స్ అరే ఫిల్టర్ అరే ఫిల్టర్స్ ఇట్ టేక్స్ అరే ఆఫ్ క్వరీ కండిషన్స్ ఇన్ మై కేస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఓన్లీ వన్ వే ద ఎలిమెంట్ సిజిపిఐ ఈస్ క్రియేటర్ దాన్ ఎయిట్ ఎలిమెంట్ డాట్ సిజిపిఏ కోలన్ క్రియేటర్ దాన్ ఆర్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఎయిట్ so whose error is cgp is greater than 8 we want to update it so now one record is updated when i come here see only for cgp 8 got a1 and 7 it didn't get because it is not matching the criteria and similarly cgp 9 is greater than 8 so for this also we got grade a1 so when you are using dollar identifier it will only updates who are all matching the query condition in the inside array if i want to update uh, nested uh, elements or elements also i can use this dollar identifier example whoever is greater than 80 if i want to increment their value by 2 then i can use uh, dollar identifier so what, I, what i'll do i want to increment their marks dot dollar score these are the uh, dollar score i want to increment to whatever the identifier i'm using i have to provide in the array filter uh, for the uh, with query how you want to match so here it is dollar score is greater than score colon greater than or equal to greater than or equal to 80 so it should uh, be greater than cgp 8 and score greater than 80 then we want to update the marks by 2 so when i run this see this first uh, cgp has two values which is greater than uh, 80 sorry it should be 80 yeah it should be greater than 80 and similarly in this here we have only one value which is greater than 80 those things should be updated so it got updated sorry i think i didn't run the query i have to select the entire query and i have to run so now one record is updated when i run see 98 become 100 89 become 91 and similarly 98 become 100 Similarly, if I want to decrement, I can use minus 2 to change it back to the original value. So, we can use nested array also to update these values using dollar uh, array identifier. So, the next one is add to set. If you want to add some elements to the existing set, we can use add to set. Already, if the array has uh, elements, then it will not update anything. If there is no element in that uh, added to set, then it will update. Example, add to set. Inside degrees, if I am passing new object, I will just copy this object, which is already there. So, it should not add one more time. So when I run this, uh, I have not closed properly, colon expected, let me check, 
add to set decrease yeah one record is updated but actually it will not add one more master element if you see after 10th only uh, tenth was only four records are there instead of this if I insert uh, some new master degree like master 1 uh, grade is uh, C and CGPA some 7 grade A2 if I insert like this this object is not there in the uh, existing degree so it will be inserted see if I see new master degree is added because it is not there in the uh, degree so it is added if the existing element is there th then it will not do any add if you are passing new element it will add if you want to pass multiple records I can use dollar each and pass those records degree dollar each colon dollar each in it takes the array of elements in this time I will pass master to and similarly one more master record I will pass master 3 and I will close the array so when I run this I have not closed properly uh, dollar each has to be closed yeah one record is updated see after master 1 master 2 and master 3 are added so we can insert multiple values also inside the existing uh, array using dollar each I can update the nested array also inside example if I want to insert uh, uh, marks or in, uh, instead of this array if I want to insert new array elements in degree also I can do example I'll remove this I'll delete these objects so I'll add inside degrees uh, yes I'll add so for that I'll use dollar symbol if to use dollar we have to use in the query condition the array element so degrees colon dollar exits exits colon true all these records are updated only one record because update by default updates only one record if you want to update multiple records I have to pass dollar uh, uh, identifier multi colon true or uh, update many I have to use dollar dot yes I am passing some years I will pass 2010 2009 uh, uh, 2008 Three. so when I run this will be uh, the object will be added with years 2001 10 20 again if you want to insert uh, some more values like uh, array of if, if I am not passing dollar each if I just pass array it will insert a nested array inside the array your subject so if I see here see it inserted one more uh, array elements inside your subject if I want to pass single element I can use just uh, one number Four. this will be inserted see if I have checked the record 2003 is not added let me check it's not so let me run this one record is updated so it is added again 2003 so using add to set we can update that the top level array or nested array we can insert the elements this is same like dollar push 
we have dollar portion if you want to insert the elements uh, we can use dollar push see dollar push also does the same thing we can insert the element so i'll show dollar push use dollar push to push this time i'll push some 2002 When I push this record, 2002 is inserted. Similarly, if I want to push array of elements, I can use dollar each. And I can pass list of elements. one record is updated see it inserted 11 12 30 so we can push the uh, uh, top level element also example if i want to push master 4 also i should be able to push using this that time it will be degrees using dollar each I can push one element also. I'll just pass one element. See, one record is updated. Uh, I have used the same element, I guess. When I'm using push, it uh, uh, it inserted uh, even the same uh, available record. Even though it is already there. Uh, when you are using add to set, it will not add if it is already available. But when you are using push, it updates the record. So the same record is inserted again. This is dollar push. Apart from dollar push, we have a, a pop. Dollar pop is something if you want to remove from the existing array. Dollar pop. We can remove elements from the first or last. Example, if I want to remove first element, I have to pass minus one. If I want to remove last element, it is one. So when I run degree colon one pop see it removes the last element see we have a three master th three two master threes were there it has removed if i want to remove some marks inside this uh, uh, master three or uh, some values inside this i can use also using dollar degrees dot dollar dot marks So with one means last element will be removed. So one record is updated. Uh, marks is 89 is the last one. So when I check 89 is removed because we have removed the last element. If I pass minus one, the first element will be removed. Pop will pop with minus one will remove the first element. This time it should remove 70. See 70 is removed. We should be able to remove. Uh, first or last element using dollar pop if you want to uh, remove the elements based on a particular condition i can use pull dollar pull see marks which are greater than dollar greater than i'll just check uh, greater than uh, 50 we have three rec uh, all records will go i'll use greater than 60 two records will be removed marks greater than 60 see one record is updated when i come here two records are removed similarly i can do the top level query also uh, like uh, if i want to remove the records which are cgpa 7 entire uh, degree records i can do that so what i'll do dollar degrees dot cgpa cgpa 7 equal to 7 then degrees cgpa 7 i want to remove so it should be used like dollar degree colon cgpa 
7 not at the same level we have to traverse in the array elements we, I cannot directly use uh, dot if I want to use dot I have to use dollar so uh, CGPA is not array object so I have to use in this way dollar pull degree CGPA colon 7 when I run this CGPA oh, I have not co added the codes properly let me run one record is updated so we have one record with CGPA 7 this should be removed so bachelor degree should be removed see now it is master after that intermediate bachelor degree is removed so using based on the condition with the top level I should be able to remove the first element or inside next elements also I should be able to remove similarly if I want to remove marks also I can use instead of passing dollar also I can just pass like this marks instead of using dollar I am uh, traversing uh, element by element marks here I'll use dollar greater than 40 all the records will be removed so the entire record of that uh, thing will be removed one record is updated so now this record will be removed all uh, are greater than uh, 40 so all the records are removed So similarly, I can use pull. Pull based on particular uh, condition. So I'll use, I'll delete this record because this object is not having uh, proper data. So here I have our uh, degrees bachelor. CG, uh, so I'm passing. Or pull all, all where CGPA is uh, all are having 8.5 so greater than 8 so this time and all the records will be removed will request array of arguments but given object so we are passing as a elements but pull all always requires array element so uh, I will just add some array elements to this. I'll just use add add to set degree start dollar dot years. I'll pass some numbers dollar each two thousand ten two thousand eleven two thousand thirteen two thousand fourteen I'll close the array so we have one two three one two three when I run this it should be able to I have to set valid update modified pipeline step. Uh, set the add to set is unknown modifier dollar add to set s is capital so now we have one record with the uh, array of years so now uh, using pull all i'll uh, remove all the years which are greater than by passing the array i can pass all these values and uh, it will not require any query just uh, we have to pass what all the elements we want to remove. Dollar here. Except 2010, I'll pass all the elements. So pull all should be able to remove those elements. So when I update the record, see except 2010, because the array is pull all array contains all these three elements. So three elements are there in my existing uh, year so it has removed so using pull all what all the records you want to remove we should be able to remove. i can just use for the years also the top level by passing one array object i'll select this one copy pass this to my degree 
and run one two yeah see one record is updated see down 10th class is removed we can use next level or uh, uh, top level to remove the elements from the given array which are satisfying which the value is present in that uh, pull all array whatever we are passing it will remove if it is not there it will be as it is uh, thank you friends please subscribe to my channel